it's a mess in here. The lighting in here sucks. So today I'm going to do something about it. The weather outside is weather. And the Cadillac is slow going. This is my first time making patch panels for a car, so it's taking some time. I'm making a lot of mistakes. I'm burning through sheet metal and uh, it's frustrating. So it takes me a while, but um, underneath all of this junk is the panel all the way across here. Hopefully that'll be going in soon. I don't know how long it's supposed to rain. So today we're just working inside. I got some, I got some sheetrock from one of the local hardware stores. Pretty awesome guy just hooked me up with a, a big like broken piece that they couldn't sell. And it was more than enough uh, than I needed to patch this old attic access. I don't put anything up there. The pitch on my roof is stupid low. So I don't even, I don't go up there at all. Um, I've got a pretty decent, pretty decent chunk left. Uh, so I'm probably going to patch some of that up and just have a nice, you know, flat roof. But it uh, looks like the next step is to start taking these old light fixtures down. One of them has bulbs that work. You can't buy these bulbs anymore. You can buy LED bulbs and then you can go in this fixture and cut that ballast out and just like wire the, you know, you just, you cut the ballast out. You wire the wires together and then make one wire. Yep. One thing I just thought of though is for the light that I bought, I'm only going to need one set of wires and I'm going to need them kind of probably in the middle. I don't know. I should probably look in that box and see what I need. But I'm going to have to cap off some of these wires because I don't need them. So I should probably go get some boxes. Oh, man. If it's not one thing, it's another. This is a ton of freaking hardware. I don't know what to do with all this. And then they sent me a bunch of zip ties, which is cool, but why? Do I hang this up with zip ties? It looks like all the little connectors, I mean, they all have little holes in them. So I think I'm just going to put some screws in there. It's just like a bunch of Legos. You just, they're light bars that are like this long and you snap them together. Um, it says to plug them in before you hang them to make sure everything works. This plug right here is kind of looks like a computer plug. So I might see if I got something that'll fit. I live my own this might be too big. <laughs> I didn't measure anything. I didn't read anything. I just went, oh, I like that one. Click, add to cart, bye. Perfect. Um, yeah. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to set all this stuff up in the living room. I mean, it is a pretty good size for the living room, actually. And so I found a, an old laptop charger that is the same style plug so uh, there's two pieces to this light there's a border and then there's a middle so i'll plug everything in then we'll just plug it into the wall the, the booklet says that this stuff can run anywhere from 100 volts to 240 volts which is pretty impressive so we'll just plug it into the wall and see what it does Take my eyes open to force reality why can't you just 
Let me eat my weight in glee I live inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities Some days I Okay, well, got them all together. It was weird. I had one connector. Uh, I had one of these straight connectors that was in a random bag instead of in the bag with all the other ones. So I didn't pay attention. Maybe that bag was full, so they had to just throw one in somewhere else. But hopefully that's not for something else. Otherwise, I'm one connector short. But I'll cross that bridge when we get there. So let's plug it in, see what it looks like. Don't ask me why the outlet's upside down. I don't know. Holy. That's freaking bright. You can see all the dog hair on the ground now. <laughs> wow. I even swept the floor before I started filming. <laughs> well, that's as far as I'm getting because somebody put it together wrong. Uh, I got down to the bottom of the box here, and those bars are longer than the rest of them. This is actually going to be too big to fit on my living room floor, which is cool, but also kind of frustrating, but that's all right. All right, we're getting there on the ceiling. If there's one thing I hate doing in this world, it's drywall. Can't stand it. It's messy. It's just, it sucks. I hate it. It's the worst thing in the world. And I'm sure you can tell uh, by my stellar job how much I really care about drywall. Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite me in the butt. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. I don't really care. The lights that are going on the ceiling are so bright and I'm going to paint it dark. So... I don't think it's going to be noticeable at all. Um, even if there are a ton of imperfections, I'm, I don't care. We're not coming out here to look at the ceiling. I am more than halfway done. I got that patched in. I got that patched in. Um, I'm super happy that I got that sheetrock for free. I think I spent $20 at the store buying this junk. Um, and then I got paint for free from a really awesome neighbor. Um, I want to paint the ceiling black, but the black that I got is dry fall and dry fall is supposed to be sprayed. I don't have a sprayer. I'm not spending money to go buy a sprayer to paint a small section and then it'll sit in the corner and I'll never use it again. So I'm going to try and roll it. If it doesn't roll for whatever reason, if it just won't stick, then I've got gray. So it's kind of a lighter gray, but I don't know. Maybe I can tint it with a little bit of the dry fall. I don't know, but we're going to give it a shot. Now, um, I need to start moving like my toolbox and everything away from this wall because I got to do that half the garage. Uh, I'm going to take those cabinets down and then uh, we'll just finish up the tape and texture. Texture? This isn't texture. It's joint compound. Mud and tape? Tape and, tape and hating my life. That's what we'll call it. Okay, here's my little redneck invention. Just an old wall sanding block broomstick with a clamp on it and a couple of adhesive backed uh, sanding pads off my DA.
see how good this stuff that is supposed to be sprayed uh, works on a roller. All the professionals on Reddit told me that I could do this, so. I don't see why you couldn't be able to roll on paint. Maybe it just takes longer to dry. I don't know. Or maybe it takes more paint. We will find out. All the ones who help my it's like it's rolling on to me. I love everything. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Looking not that good so far. <laughs> you can see all the stripes and everything. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna let this dry and uh, maybe come back out here and put a second coat on it. We'll see. Try this again with a fresh battery this time. Um, trying to get this thing hung up. And there's just a couple of measurements I didn't take into account. And that is the width between the garage door tracks. So I'm just inside on this side, but on this side, I'm like smack dab in the middle of the uh, upright, whatever you call that, that supports the garage door. So I have some flexibility with these things, these connections just kind of snap together pretty easily so you can take these things apart and there's a little bit of customize of customize customability i don't know you can change it um so i think that's what i'm gonna have to do but that sucks because the whole thing's got to come down so there's two different size light bars in this kit there's the long ones on this side, and there's the short ones on that side, and then also the short ones that make up the hex. So I think I've got a I've got about uh, four and a half inches from the back wall to the back of the light bar. So if I move it totally up against the wall, and then if I swap the corner, so I take that long bar and move it to the short one and put the short one on the long one, just the, just the corner, swap those two. That shortens this long side up by about four inches and it makes it a little bit longer by about four inches. So um, this thing is, this hex is a little bit um, funky anyways because if you put it up like this, like the instructions say to do, you end up with just a couple inches on the side of the hex. And then you have like, I don't know, I think it was like seven or eight inches on either end um, from between the border and the pattern. So I think that would look a little funky anyways. Um, it just sucks that I got to take this thing down again. This is a cool little trick I'll show you guys real quick. So you can see the blue tape in the corners here. If you're checking to see if something's square, you can measure along this edge three inches and then along this edge four inches and then measure between your two points and you should equal five inches across diagonally. So I don't know if that has a name. I call it three, four, five for obvious reasons. Um, pretty cool little trick. Well, it's loosely up there. I had a hell of a time hanging this thing up by myself. It was a pain in the ass. This is definitely, 
I mean, hanging up something like this, it would have been real easy if I had like three other people here. We, I could have made do with one other person, but it still would have been hard. That's what she said. <laughs> The, my uh, wall over here is not square, like not even close. I measured 22 inches off this wall to each connector and the bar was just wavy all the way down. So I had to eyeball it. But once you get up there on the ladder and you're really close, it's really hard to tell. So just moving it a, a little bit and then you come down and you look up at it and it's still not straight. So it's... Um, it's kind of close, but again, I mean, you can see the huge gap in between the light. You know, you see the shadow right there. This thing, I just have it up there with drywall screws right now. There's like six drywall screws in this middle part. And then I've got two or three on each leg of the, uh, the outside border. So I just needed to get it up on the wall and get an idea for where all the holes go. And now I just, I have to go back and basically a couple screws at a time, let it down and then put some drywall anchors in and then screw it back in place where it goes permanently. From the switch comes from over there up into the attic down right here. So I just pulled down the extra Romex from the other lights and I just and I just threw some wire nuts on everything and made myself a little cord. So that way I can plug this thing in and see how it actually looks. Okay, temporary cord plugged in. <laughs> oh man, I got some, got some bars out. Man, that looks pretty friggin' cool. Probably just have a loose connection, I think, right there. Let's see if I can fix that real quick. When I was hanging this thing up, the lights were flexing down at every joint and some of them popped out. So let me see what I can do about that. Just a loose connection right there. This thing was a huge pain in the ass. Took me so many tries up and down trying to figure out the right arrangement of all the bars because they don't tell you, but there's two different size bars. I found that out after connecting all the little ones together and then seeing the big ones in the bottom of the box. Huge, huge, huge relief though, because this puts out a ton of light. It fits the ceiling perfectly. I just kind of guessed on uh, the size that I needed. I I just clicked on one and I was like, hey, that one's a good price. It's on sale and whatever. So, I mean, you can see that I've got to, I've still got to move the bar around. Um, it was so hard to, to get it up there. I just, you know, used my ratchet straps and everything and just supported it any way I could. I had my camera tripod out here for a little bit and just trying to figure out the best way to hold this thing up so that I could just get some screws in it, get it held to the ceiling. And now I'm gonna go back and straighten everything out. But uh, this is massive. This is a huge upgrade. I freaking love it. Um, I mean, the last thing, I, the last real big thing I gotta do is move this wire. Garage light upgrade complete. I'm stoked. I'm so happy. Where you're at, let me know what you're working on. Later.